Hey there everyone, welcome back to a LEGO news video. It's not really that, because the, this is news that you probably already heard. Um, so today I'm going to be discussing the LEGO Incredibles 2 sets. I have a lot of thoughts on them. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of the Incredibles franchise. It's my favorite Pixar franchise. Um, I mean, I love Pixar in general, but... Yeah, The Incredibles just stood out for me. I really love the sequel. I'm surprised that we have no sets for Incredibles 1. I really wish there was, like, something for that. Like, I know they have the minifigures, but those are really expensive. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's a shame. But yeah, today we're on Brick Set. And there's three sets we're gonna take a look at. This video might be a bit long. Um, depends. Um... And yeah, if you hear noise in the background, that's thunder. It thunders a lot where I live, so yeah. Um, we'll take a look at the first set, um, which is Elastigirl's Rooftop Pursuit. Let's see. Hold on. How many pieces? Uh, trying to look. 95 pieces. And this costs $20. Mm, $20, mm. It's a bit much, but, you know, the one thing I don't get about these Incredibles 2 sets is why are they baby sets? Like, why, why are they, like, 4 plus? Like, I don't, I mean, the movie is obviously not for, like, young, young kids. Like, both of the Incredibles films are family films, yeah, but they have mature themes, they have action, some minor language, I guess. So they're not really for little kids. So I don't know why they marketed them that way, but eh, whatever. Let's we'll look at the sets here. Elastigirl is my favorite character from the franchise. Like other than Syndrome, like I have a lot of favorite characters, but um, I guess we're, if we're counting the Omnidroid as a character, that's probably my favorite. But then Elastigirl is my favorite human character. And then of course Syndrome is like, well, he's Syndrome. What, what else do I have to say? Um, yeah, here's the set. It's based on the scene where Elastigirl is um, tracking down the Screen Slaver, who is the main villain of Incredibles 2. And it's based on the scene where he's like giving his monologue and he's like, like um, broadcasting to the city. And so that's like what the scene is. I'm pretty sure. Um, and so she's trying to find him and you get two minifigures, you get Elastigirl, uh, and you get the Screen Slaver, who is one of- that name is so clever. Um, and the character is great. Um, both of them are great. I do have a complaint with Elastigirl. I like that she has the, the long, stretchy arms, but why don't they just give you another piece with a regular torso? Like on this sticker, you can see the regular Elastigirl, you know, with her hands on her hips. Why can't we get, like, a regular version? <laughs> like, I know she's supposed to be stretchy, but I don't know. It kind of bothers me. I think it's the only Elastigirl minifigure we have, so that's a little... Mm, just kind of bothers me. But the minifig is great, you know? It looks so accurate. I like the hair. It's very cool. Um, I think she only has one face, which is kind of lame, but mm, whatever. Uh, the detail is great. It looks exactly like the suits, uh, the incredible suits, which is great. Um, very detailed, you know, it's skin tight spandex, uh, so that's, that's nice. You got the red and black, classic Incredibles colors, really works really well. You can actually have this as the Incredibles 1 suit, if you wanted to. Um, yeah, she's great. Um, the screen slaver, um, that one's interesting. It doesn't look nearly as intimidating as in the film because it's a different design like lego is more cutesy i guess um but i like it i really like the face the mask is really cool um he does have a face under there um it's it's an interesting face i'm not going to say what it is but it's interesting it does reveal the identity kind of um and the detail is not as good as on elastigirl but it's still pretty nice like for what it is it's a nice figure it just it could have been more detailed maybe um, this is not really accurate, like, in the, in the film, the screen slaver is, like, he has a black suit, not a blue tunic, but, eh, whatever. 
That doesn't bother me too much. Um, the builds are nice, kind of. Um, they have this helicopter pad with this little, like, sign with Elastigirl posing. It says 18% approval rating, so I'm guessing that's, like, um, like an advertisement. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's just kind of like a basic build. Like, there's not much going on. Um, the scene was really interesting, but this is just kind of simple, which I guess it works. The helicopter is really basic. Um... I believe this is one of the, um, one of the ambassadors helicopters. Um, it's kind of cool, I guess. I, I'm, I'm assuming Screenslaver is trying to get away or something. I, I don't really know what's going on here. Like, I've seen the film at least twice, but I, I'm assuming he's trying to use the helicopter to get away. Um, and then they have this motorcycle, which is supposed to be the Elasticycle. It does not look at, like it at all. It's not even red. Like, what, what is this? Is, is this, like, for Screenslave or something? I don't know what this is. It's some weird motorcycle. It looks kind of cool, but it's not accurate. And I don't know if I like it. But, yeah, it, you get a laptop, too. And that's it. You get that for $20. And it should have been $10. $10 bucks would have been great. Um, I don't know why they put it to $20. I guess because it's a Pixar thing. I guess it's like a license set, like Incredibles, so they have to make it a little bit more pricey. I don't know. I probably won't buy this. I There's no way. It, it's more expensive now than it was when it came out, so that's kind of a shame. Um, these sets came out in 2018. Uh, yeah, I would just like a whole minifigure series based on Incredibles. I would probably buy all of them because I'm a big fan of the franchise. Um... But yeah, I don't know. It's a cool set. I like it. You know, it's not too bad for what it is. Um, it's probably my favorite set of these three. Definitely. It has the most interesting characters, I think. Uh, sorry about that. Let's take a look at the second uh, set. The Underminer's Bank Heist. Which is definitely based on the beginning of of uh, Incredibles 2. Um, this, is, this has a bit more pieces. 149. Ooh, we're going up. Uh, three minifigs. Okay, that's good. And this is twenty-five dollars. Hmm. Twenty-five. Mm, pricey. It should have been like fifteen, maybe. But anyway, here's the set. You get the Underminer, who is one of the best villains. Um, and you get Mister Incredible. This is a different version than what was included in the Disney series one. Unfortunately, I have none of those figures, um, so that's kind of lame, but he did come in the first series with Syndrome. Um, and then we get- wait, we do get Elastigirl. Oh, so this is the other set that comes with her. Sorry, I thought it was a different character. So this is a little bit more interesting. Um, I like- I'm liking this. Um, the Elastigirl is- what? Okay. So, you know, earlier I just said- I wish the Elastigirl would had the regular arms. Well, here she does, so that's cool. Um, yeah, she she's you can see she's in the Incredible from the first film, and it came back, which is nice. Uh, it's very simple. It's obviously not accurate that much. It's like a baby version of the Incredible. <laughs> um, it still looks nice. You can you know what it is. I mean, if you're a fan of the series, you already know what it is. Um, yeah, you can see she's driving it there. Oh, it, Mr. Incredible should be driving it, not her. I mean, I love Elastigirl, but it should be Mr. Incredible driving the Incredible. I mean, it's his car. Anyway, um, you get the Underminer, who looks great. Um, he is just as ridiculous as a minifigure as he was in the movie. Z movies. Because he was in both of them. I believe he's the only villain to be in both of them, which is quite cool. Um, so he's driving his little underminer, or his, um, mining drill. So that's what he's driving. That's pretty cool. It's very basic, but it looks good. Um, so that's nice. And he has these big old hands. I like that. That's a reference to his, uh, mechanical arms. Um, yeah, it was when he fights Mr. Incredible in Incredibles 2, he has the big arm, like the, the mechanical hands. So he's, like, fighting him. Um, so he's almost a match for him. And then you get Mr. Incredible, who's not really doing anything. He's just, like, there. 
but he's cool. This is different than the original Mr. Incredible that we got. Um, I still think that version's better, but this one's cool. I like it. He's smiling. Uh, so is Elastigirl. I think my favorite figure here is definitely the Underminer. He looks great. Um, I think he has the short legs, so that's cool. The detail's great on him. Uh, his helmet's great. Um, the details for the heroes are also great. Um, and then you get, like, this bank thing, which is what the Underminer is trying to steal the money from. Uh, that's pretty good. I like it. I like the sand green. That looks nice. Um, and I really like this poster over here that says the Underminer is wanted. <laughs> that's great. And if you know the films, you know that he doesn't get caught. So, ooh, yeah, he doesn't get caught. He gets away. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, I like the set. I, I really like it. Um, $25, I don't think that's worth it. I, I think it could have been like $12. Um, $13, $15. I can see $15. Um, no more than that. It, it should have been lower. Um, but yeah, these are great. I like this one. It's really cool that we have the Incredible and the Drill Machine. They're kind of like battling. Although this is not accurate because in the beginning of Incredibles 2, there was no Incredible. It comes up later, not in the beginning. So that's kind of weird. But, oh well, who cares? It's still cool. So this is great. You get a lamppost as well. <laughs> Forgot to mention that. Um, and you get a random jack thing. I don't even know what that's called in the back there. Um, so that's cool. I like this set. Um... It's it's fun. It, it, these are just fun. Um, let's see if I do I have anything more to say. Uh, I like the little alley build, and yeah, it's just really nice. And I'm guessing this is much more expensive than it originally was. <laughs> Probably is. Um, but yeah, fun set. Again, I don't know why it's baby, like I don't know why it's like for toddlers. I don't. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, let's move on to the last set that I'll talk about today, which is the Great Home Escape. So this is the Incredibles New Home, um, Incredibles 2. wonder how many times I said Incredible. <laughs> um, so this is their new home that, that's been loaned to them by the, the Endeavors. And so here it is. It's just a tiny baby chunk of it. It looks really nice. Um, you get, let's see, how many figures? Let me look at the technical specs. Okay, this has 178 pieces, four minifigs. Okay, wow. And this is $30. Mmm, that's definitely not it, that price. Um, it should have been, like, again, 15, well, maybe 20. I could see 20 for this. Um, but, yeah, this is based on the scene where they're, the wannabe superheroes are kind of invading the par home and so they're hypnotized by the screen slaver and so they're attacking the kids and so yeah that's what's going on here um i like it i like the the little pool that's cool uh, let me talk about the figures first because they're great uh we get dash and violet and jack jack that's nice and then you get brick who is the female, one of the female superheroes. Um, she's kind of cool. She looks very angry, um, probably because she's being hypnotized. Uh, she's cool. Um, yeah, she, she's a great uh, character to get here. Technically, this uh, should have more of them. It should have Void and Helectrix and definitely Frozone should be here. Um... I think they should take the Incredible and put it in this set. That would make more sense, because that is where the Incredible comes from, pretty much. It, it Well, it appears halfway, and then it comes back in this scene. So, yeah, it should have been the Incredible that came in this set, but whatever. Uh, I don't know what this is. This looks like another screensaver vehicle. Like a, a van, kind of? I don't know what this is. It looks like some kind of van. News van or something. Looks kind of cool. I like it. You know, it's... It's a thing. Um, it's just there. Uh, I like the figures. I should talk about those. Um, Dash is great. He, I, I think this is the first time we're getting him. Um, he's smiling. That's classic Dash right there. Uh, and then we get Violet in the back. She's great. 
Um, I, the thing is, the first time I get her, too. And she has this printed circle, which is like her force field. So that's cool. And then you get Jack-Jack, who's just like a thing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's cool. He's great. He's always great. Um, so we get him. Um, there's not much detail for the baby figure, so, you know, it's nice enough. Um, looks good. Um, the brick figure is, is interesting. Uh, she should be much thicker than the mini figure, but still, it's nice. I like the all the brick pieces. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, it's just like a little mini house set, so that's kind of cool. I don't know what this is. This is like some kind of rock. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Oh, wait a minute. Is that... That's the rock that she's throwing at them. Oh, okay. Sorry. I haven't looked at these sets in a long time. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is like a launch chair. Sorry. <laughs> and that's the pool with a gun? Why is there a gun? That's a bit weird. It's a squirt gun. I'm guessing that's what that is. It's a pool. Um, and I like the house. The house is is interesting. It's like half of a house. So it's like the front of it and then like the living room and then that's it. <laughs> I like the couch. It's very accurate despite how small it is. I like the incredible phone. That is great. Um, the doors are cool. The black roof is cool. Um, and this is, I'm assuming this is like the, oh, this is the secret waterfall. That's cool. So you lift that up and you can put a figure in there. That is great. Um, that this is a great set it's a cool play set i think also there's a tv playing and it oh is that a tv i can't tell i only have one image to look up or to look at here so um it looks like all the pars um if you don't know the pars are the incredibles um so that's all of them in a portrait i guess or they're on tv something like that that's cool um yeah, I don't know why these are the only three sets that we got. I, I don't know why. We could have got some sets for Incredibles 1. Like, I don't know. I would have loved an Omnidroid set. Like, imagine you could make the big Omnidroid, the, the V10 from the end of the first film. You could make that into one big set and have some part of the city and all the minifigs and stuff. I don't know why we never got any sets for Incredibles 1. That's so lame. Anyway, um, yeah, it's cool. It's a nice one. I think it's probably the weakest set here, but it still looks good. It's got great figures, um, great playability. Uh, if it was cheaper, it'd have a better value. Um, yeah, that's the Great Home Escape. It's a fun set. I like the van, the house, the figures, the action. It's it's nice. I Again, I prefer the first one. The Elastigirl one. It's the most accurate one uh, of the three. Um, I might get these someday. Probably not. It's just like, why are they for babies? If if they, if they were normal sets, maybe I'd consider it. Um, I probably just someday. I really want to get the um, some figures from Disney Series Three or not Series Three, Series One. Uh, especially the Mister Incredible and Syndrome. I missed out on those figures. I'll probably get those at some point. Uh, if they ever make an Omnidroid set, I would definitely buy it. Um, but yeah, those are the Incredibles 2 sets. Let me know what you guys think. Sorry if this was a bit long, but I kind of put all three sets, like my thoughts, into one video. Hopefully it wasn't too terribly long. Um, let me know, do you guys have any of these? Do you like them? Do you think they're garbage? What do you think of Incredibles 2 in general? Um... And thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you for the next analysis, and hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.